Okay, welcome everybody to a lesson on commas, really, but commas and conjunctions. <clears throat> There's two different types of comma, which are very often mixed up. And so there is a list comma, a comma that we use for any type of list. And I think everybody knows we use commas for lists, but I don't think everybody recognises all the different types of list. Everybody recognises a list of nouns. I bought apples, pears and bananas. But not everybody recognises a list of adjectives, a list of adverbs, um, also adverbs, a list of verbs, uh, and there's one more there, um, or a list of participles down at the bottom. And so I wanted to talk about some different types of list. Um, also, we have the joining comma. Now, this is a comma I've already made you do some exercises on. I've already tried to show you that this is a comma that all four books that we're looking at use, certainly. Uh, and it's the comma that you see before the fanboy's word, like an and, when it's joining two main clauses. And I want to point this out because both Cambridge and Oxford agree that this comma is correct, yeah? And America, and Canada, and Australia, everybody seems to use that comma. Nonetheless, in the UK, I think a lot of people get taught never use a comma before an and, and we'll see why that is here. It's Cambridge's fault. It is Cambridge's fault here. That's why people learn that, um, that rule, which is not a rule at all, because if you look in any book, you will find comma and. And so uh, it's a really strange rule to teach people when all of the books that we use seem to have this comma and many, many times. I find it on most pages of most books. And so the reason that this comma is here is completely different to this comma before the and. Yeah, This is a comma before the and in a list. This is the comma before an and when you're joining one main clause, I am by birth a Genovese. Please remember we need a subject and a verb for the main clause, and it needs to be a complete thought. That's a complete thought. We could make that into a full stop, yeah? And in that sense, it's a main clause. And my family is one of the most distinguished of that republic. Well, that's also a complete thought, isn't it? It's got a subject, my family, it's got a verb, is, and then it's got a subject complement, one of the most distinguished of that republic. Please remember that we have subject complements, not objects, after copular verbs, okay? But you'll, you'll always see this comma there before the fanboys word, especially in any academic...